Ewoks Rainbow Friends. There are many mysteries floating around based on the story and the origin of the game. Nobody has yet been able to piece the puzzles together dating all the way back to 1991 when everything first started. Today we'll be explaining the lore of Rainbow Friends thanks to an individual named Bone Dried Rose. As they have put together an extensive script that might as well be the closest we can get to a complete story. Smash like and subscribe or else Orange will be running after you and let's get right into it. It all starts where the Rainbow Friends were created, which is right in this very machine that you are all looking at. Rainbow Friends, whose original name was Rainbow Funtime Friends, started as a sketch and was originally going to be an animation, but Oswald and Trenton decided differently and made their creatures living with experiments of human DNA. Nobody to this day knows exactly whose body was experimented on for this project, though depictions on the internet do exist. Having such little to work with, they could only work with what they had in the studio with the help of their crew, but they made it happen. They made the Rainbow Friends. They were able to walk, see, and hear, though with very poor communication ability, which is why you never hear them speak. Eventually, when things settled down and the friends were able to accustomate and get used to their environments, they started to appear on the Rainbow Funtime Show. The show would grow into a huge success, loved by families across the nation. Oswald and Trenton decided on a new attraction, which is the facility itself. They allowed families to come by and explore the inside wonders of Rainbow Friends at a price. At the end of the tour, the Rainbow Friends would put on a show for the families on stage as they were told. What they didn't prepare for was one of the children, Blue's first friend, would go up on the stage and attempt to hug Blue mid-performance. The performance suddenly stopped. This caught Blue off guard, which made him angry, and seeing Blue angry made Green and Orange furious as well. Blood began spilling and screams could be heard from inside the facility as families were literally being torn apart. Oswald and Trenton couldn't do anything but watch. Snapping out of the fear of paralyzation, Trenton grabbed Oswald as they both fled the scene just before the police and ambulances arrived. The Rainbow Friends were never to be seen again either. A nationwide hunt has been in order for especially Oswald, they wanted him in prison. Months and months later of staying out of sight and far away from civilization, Oswald was found by Trenton back at the facility, stitching a button in Blue's eyes as he had lost it during the bloody incident. Oswald began treating the Rainbow Friends like his children. Oswald was so frightened, but he couldn't just let them go because of how hard he worked to get them up. Trenton decided to stay as well, seeing how he may have not had another choice anyways. They took care of the Rainbow Friends together. Time passes on, Trenton finally snapped after the thoughts of the incident were draining him mentally, arguing with Oswald and threatening him with death. Oswald, threatened and in the moment, shoves Trenton into the machine and locked him. He switched the lever, electricity sparked, and Trenton's skin was melting and growing fur as he slowly died, unable to get out. Oswald simply watched, and once Trenton was finally down, Oswald left, never to look back at the machine again. He would never know what would crawl into the vents later. Oswald finally builds his mask, and he now calls himself Red. He is no longer his own person, but a character amongst the Rainbow Friends. He'd continue caring for his monsters and feed them as needed, luring the buses into the facility. And this in turn leads to chapter one, where a new bus enters the facility, feeding the monsters each and every turn. It's like the odd world is not a real place, but a mere scam in order to attract new victims each and every turn. What do you guys think about the lore? Let us know how you view the game in the comments down below. Smash like and subscribe or else you may be caught by orange and take care.